Hi guys, welcome. This is going to be a crystal video. Um, I wanted to film a video about one of my favorite crystals, which is the clear quartz. Um, I don't know what happened, but the last couple years, I have to say, well, not the last couple years, the last couple months, I have to say, I have become extremely obsessed. Is obsessed a good word? <laughs> extremely um just really into clear quartz. Um, it's a very simple, simple crystal. It is one of the crystals that you can use for manifestation. Um, and it's so easy to work with. And the best part is it's super affordable and so easy to find. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the clear quartz crystal and why I love it so much. So with that, I have my water. I just don't want to, I don't want to accidentally knock down my water. Um, I do have a couple pieces of clear quartz here. Um, I kind of want to show you guys like different versions of it. Let me see if I have, I should have grabbed. Ugh. Oh, perfect. This will work. <laughs> Sorry guys, I should have been a little bit more prepared, but I want to, um, I want to make sure I get a little bit of everything for you guys to see. I do have a lot of pieces, but that's because I love it so much. Um, this is perfect. Okay. Perfect. Clear quartz. <laughs> so let's just start with kind of like the raw versions first. So, like I said, clear quartz is easy to find. You can pretty much find it just about um, in any metaphysical crystal shop. Um, you can find it on Etsy. You can find it everywhere. Anyone who sells crystals will usually have clear quartz. It's kind of like one of the basics, you know, one of your one of the top faves. Um, aside from like rose quartz and aquamarine, I mean not aquamarine, rose quartz and amethyst. Um, I believe. Clear quartz is kind of like one of the most common crystals. Um, so this is what it looks like in raw form. This is a, um, it's kind of like a, a cluster, I guess is what they would call it. Um, depends on how big the points are. Um, needle point cluster, sometimes what these go by, um, or just a cluster, a clear quartz cluster. Um, and so these are really pretty and I kind of like to use the clusters more for decorative. So putting them around the house, sometimes I put them outside. Um, if you do put your clear quartz outside, be very aware that they do act as, um, like little magnifying glasses. And if the sun hits the clear quartz just right, you do risk starting fires so just make sure be aware of that that your clear quartz is kind of like somewhere hidden where the shadows are like in the shade or not going to be like piercing directly like from the sun with to another object that could be flammable <laughs> so just a just a little heads up um so i like to keep my clusters outside for that purpose or on the um kitchen table coffee table countertops, somewhere nice um, where they can get a lot of attention and just a lot of focus. Beautiful energy. Um, clear quartz is known as the amplifier. It is the crystal that amplifies energy. So it amplifies whatever it is being used for. So whatever you are infusing it with, it will amplify that energy. Um, it is meant to amplify or um, to kind of think of it as like the planet Jupiter. If you're like into astrology, you kind of know planet Jupiter does the same thing. It expands whatever it touches, whatever it is influencing. And so clear quartz does the same thing. It expands whatever it is intention, that intention of it is for. Um, so here's more, another raw piece of clear quartz. This is a big old chunky chunk. Um, this is in its raw state. So literally like it comes out of mother earth in the mines, in the dirt, just like this. Um, it has still some pieces of the, the mud, the adobe mud that it came from. Um, and yeah, they look just like this when they come out of earth. That's why they're so special. 
because they very rarely need a lot of you know uh, shaping or tumbling and you know to make it look so beautiful it already comes like that and here's another version of clear quartz that has a natural state um sometimes the people will you know maybe they'll shape it just a little bit um but i have seen videos of people who are mining the clear quartz it literally comes out of the earth just like this so it's very magical it's very um what's the word i'm looking for authentic and in, in its original state very powerful crystal um sometimes they have rainbows inside of them so i don't know if i'm going to be able to catch a rainbow on camera um but the inclusions usually you could see a rainbow and i know this piece has some i think there's one right there um but it's kind of hard to catch it on camera here's a smaller a smaller version of that um, and then with the clear quartzes, so if they have inclusions, which means when you look inside of it, it's not 100% clear. Um, there you go. You could kind of see a rainbow. <laughs> um, the rainbows usually are inside the inclusions. Um, so some people will call them rainbow quartz or um, if they have the striations. So this one is a good example. You can kind of see those lines when the light hits it those horizontal lines along the sides of the crystal um, that would make it a Lumerian clear quartz. Um, so very beautiful. Um, also things with clear quartz too, the windows, meaning the um, like the little triangular sides. There's different names for, there's like a, there, I don't know, and I don't know them all, so I can't tell you guys, but there's different names for the different types of rainbows, windows, um, record keeper crystals. I know that one record keeper is when they have like tiny little triangles on the face, which I don't think, I don't think any of these have that. Um, so I'll have to try to, I'll try to link. I want to say there's a website that I look at that has all that information. Um, I'll try to link it in the description box if I could find it. Um, but yeah, record keepers or what's the other one? Um, I know like the Lumerian, the record keeper, there's one more, there's another one. Um, keyholes, which I don't have any with keyholes, self heal. That's what it is. Um, so a self heal on your clear quartz is when um, you have, it's kind of has like a very smooth waxy kind of a feel to it. You can kind of see it right there where there was damage done to the, the crystal, but it grew over itself. It's it, it like healed itself pretty much when it was growing in mother, mother earth. Um, so this one has that, this big guy has it here on the bottom. You could kind of see it kind of has like a smooth, little waxy feel to it um this one actually she has a little baby so she has another little baby clear quartz right here growing out of her um this one has one here that was growing and has another one that was growing that was actually going inside of this piece um i'm trying to see the record keepers are very hard to find I don't think this one has it. You kind of have to shine it just right, like see it just right in the light to see the little triangles, but they are literally like little triangles on the surface of the window of your quartz. So it's kind of fun to go through your pieces to see if you can find any of those little special parts. Um, but yeah, like this part, this inclusion right here, in the direct sunlight there's like so many rainbows in this piece i love it <laughs> so me personally like when i'm looking for clear quartz crystals i usually go for the ones that have inclusions i like clear quartz crystals that have pieces of the rock still um embedded in them or the mud um the clay whatever you want to call it um i also love to get clear quartz that has rainbows it's probably my most favorite reason for why i buy a piece is because it has a rainbow um 
Clear quartz also comes in tumbled forms, so you can get them. They have like little hearts. And when people say tumbled, it's basically the crystal was um, treated so that it's smooth on all sides of the surface. So you're not having any of these like sharp, uneven edges. It's completely smooth, kind of like a little pebble. So this one is in the shape of a heart. This one, I have a dolphin. <laughs> so you could get them in um, shapes, little figurines. I have a little dolphin. This dolphin actually has a rainbow inside of it, but it doesn't, they don't show on camera. So cute though. Um, here's a little raw piece little tiny baby raw piece so you could get tiny little pieces like this that you can carry you know in your purse you could put it in your wallet um, if you're more into like the smaller pieces versus the larger ones um, there's also towers so these are called towers or um, generators Generators or towers are, these are like really, really good for manifestation work. So if you like to set intentions, if you like to do candle intentions, or you like to write your intentions on a piece of paper, what I usually tell my students is write your intentions on a piece of paper, fold it up, and then place it underneath your crystal. And obviously prior to that, you are going to infuse your crystal with your own energy. So I like to hold the crystal really close to me and I'm either in my mind like infusing it with whatever the intention is for um or saying it out loud or whatever but these crystals these chunky generators or points or towers well, there's different names that's what I really like to use these for they're really really good for crystal intentions um the other thing that these are good for, these are the wands. Um, they're called wands or like the, um, I think I guess like, yeah, the obelisks or there's different names, but I usually use these like a smaller one. When you're meditating, you could place it over the third eye, like kind of like a little unicorn horn. <laughs> um, and it's pretty much like the tip of the crystal is infusing outward, right? Um, you could also place it over just your body. Sometimes I will place it over my chest when I'm laying down. Um, if I have a headache, they also say too, your crystals can absorb the energy of the headache. So if I do have a headache, I'll be laying down and then I usually place it over my forehead or if I'm feeling the headache, like in the back, I'll hold it to the head. Um, and you just have that intention that you are like the, the base of the crystal is literally sucking up or absorbing the energy of that headache that you were sending, that you were feeling. And it's shooting it outward from the tip of the crystal out into universe. So kind of like a cool little thing to know. <laughs> um, the other thing I was going to mention too about clear quartz is there's crackle quartz. So I also have a generator here um, and it's a little different. So you could see this one is a little bit more clearer. This one has, it literally looks like broken glass. And literally looks like broken glass. So there's crackle quartz. Um, they're really pretty. They make a lot of rainbows. Um, and, but they're the same thing. It's like the same kind of a thing. So um, there's different types of crystals clear quartz crystals out there so when you're in the market like when you're shopping for one it's funny because I could see all the rainbows in here <laughs> and they don't show up on camera um let me see if I could get it too no I think it has to be I think it has to be like the direction that the light is hitting it mm -mm. it's not popping up <laughs> <laughs> I think the rainbows are just meant for you personally to, to enjoy. Um, but there's different types of clear quartz. So that's my whole point. I feel like I'm just kind of like repeating the same information. Um, but that's my whole point is there's different types of clear quartz. So depending on what your tastes are, if you're looking for like a little tumbled stone or if you're looking for a figurine or 
the towers for manifestation work, um, the wands or the points. I think this is called like a point or I've heard people call them handheld. So you could hold it in your hand like this when you're meditating. Um, you know, these are really cool too. I personally like these um, or the big ones. Um, one for decorative reasons, but two, two, sometimes like I will take the larger one and I'll lay it against me, like lay it against my body while I'm laying down to, to meditate. It is definitely <laughs> one of the things that I will do. Um, but like these big chunky guys, these are definitely just for decorative purpose or, you know, I have this one up on the table when I'm doing my readings, it's there in the background. Um, mainly because of the whole, the whole intent for clear quartz to kind of uplift. It's a high vibrational stone. So it uplifts, um, the energy around us. So that's why I have a huge one on the table for that purpose. Um, you know, cause when I'm doing my readings, everything has to be high vibration. It has to be filled, uplifted and good. So that's my reason for that. Um, I don't have anything else. Oh, here's another <laughs> here's another tiny little tower a little baby tower this one's really clear so your towers they come in different sizes you could use the little ones for your manifestation work too but I prefer something a little bit chunkier I could just I just think it works um so I actually currently have one over there on that shelf next to the salt lamp um, it's got a piece of paper literally folded up in a little square and then I have the crystal over it. So <laughs> I already have my intentions. It was for the, um, the beginning of the month of March. So I do that all the time, you guys. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show you guys and share with you and just kind of have that moment. Um, when I bring out the clear quartz, it's just like, you cannot deny the energy shift when you're holding a, a clear quartz. And like, literally, like right now, I feel so like, <laughs> I feel so jittery and like good because the energy of that clear quartz, I can definitely feel it. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because I've been really into these guys. Um, they're super affordable. They are easy to find. Um, like I said, if you want to find yourself a piece, just do an Etsy search. So many will pop up. Or if you have access to a local crystal shop, that's probably even better because then you can go shopping for your specific piece. And when you're shopping for a crystal, just go in with the intention of I'm opening myself up to receive whatever is meant to be will be. Um, and you will naturally be drawn to a crystal. It doesn't have to be clear quartz. If you go into the shop with the intention of looking for the specific crystal, then that's one thing. But if you are just going into a shop and you're just like, I'm opening myself up to whatever I feel drawn to, trust your intuition, your eyes, your heart will be drawn to a specific stone for a reason. Um, sometimes the shops will have the little pamphlets. So they'll have like a little printout that you could take with you that has the name of the crystal and maybe some properties for it, metaphysical properties. Um, but if it doesn't, always snap a picture of what the, the name of that crystal is so that you can remember because there are, <laughs> there are times where I'll get home and I have a piece and I just completely forgot what it is. Um, if Especially if you're new to crystals. If you're new to crystals, you're there's so many different ones out there that it could get a little bit... <laughs> A little bit hard to remember all of the names um so make sure you take a snapshot picture of what it is that you were buying um and then you can read up on it later there's so many books google search it you'll find so much information um but yeah get yourself a clear quartz crystal you won't regret it um and yeah happy crystal manifestation and happy um, just allowing yourself to receive the beautiful energies that that crystal will bring into your world. So enjoy you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye my loves.